right, I had a question um, as to why uh, we have this spread plate on upside down. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way to put these spread plates on. Um, this way, that way, it doesn't really matter. Either um, with the plate at the top or the plate at the bottom, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we got this trailer in here. This is a 2016 model. Um, needs tires. It's uh, it's uh, got to have the tires recapped on it here. Uh, the lift axle tires, I think I ran them a little too long. Um, they've got some spots in them that might have gone too far. But uh, we got the, uh, the eight regular tires. Um, they need to be capped. The boys went and got, a, uh, got them off here today and they got the rims all cleaned up. We'll send them tires out to get capped here uh, this week. and They got the tires rotated on the C5 here. Um, I put that in a video before um, just in case anybody needs to uh, see that again but yeah that kind of says it all. Um, yeah we got kind of a mess here between the two buildings here but uh, we'll just walk on past that and we'll go into uh, what I'm going to show you here on this spread plate here. Uh, the reason why I put it on this way, and I, I think that is the right way uh, Diller um, wants their spread plate put on. This is um, considered a low spread uh, kit on their uh, Diller tanker here. Um, this is the, the, the fan housing here, and then bang, right there is the uh, spread plate. The, old, the other models, um, they put the spread plate up there. So you're going to go up on top of the tank and you're going to put the uh, spread plate on when you decide that it's, uh, the conditions are right and you're going to um, field spread. Now we cap. Uh, we've got a cap here. And this guy right here we put in place of the uh, spread plate. We'll put that on there, and then if anybody opens a gate valve, or if they switch their valve from nurse to spread, we don't have manure coming out. Even with the unit up there, um, you go up a hill, and if your um, nurse to spread valve is open, manure is going to come out. And of course down here, uh, yeah, she's going to come out good, real good. So. You got your top latch plate, uh, your, uh, the, the, the latch plate is, um, I, I put it at the top. And then you crank your, your cam over lock. Um, it's just easier on the bottom. So I believe that that is the right and correct way to put the spread plate on. Um, you know, the manure is going to come out. Bang, it's going to hit against here and it's going to splash all over the place and, and it's going to do its thing. It doesn't really matter folks, but if you have it around the other way, you have to, unless this, unless these latches were welded on differently, you'd have to hold it up in place to get your handle to bang lock at the top. So I'm going to demonstrate that here for a second. You got your handle locking at the bottom here, so we're just gonna unlatch that guy there. Oh, we're full of sand. Clean that out. Ah, man, we are full of, we are full of sand. We're just gonna clean this out like this. Reach in here and grab all the loose shit. And we're going to scrape this bell off here so that we can get it on there. 
So you decide to, uh, yeah, you decide to put your spread plate on, you get brave, you think you're going to be able to go in the field. So this is the way I had it on there, you slap your spread plate on there, just bang, it's down. Now, putting the spread plate on down at the ground here, it's all easy, bang, it's just sitting on there. But you got to picture things. If you're way up there, if you're way up top, up here, you're leaning down over the top of the tank, you're going to want to just set the spread plate on there and have gravity work its course to kind of hold it in place. Then you grab your, your cam lock handle here and you just kind of, you know, lock it in place. If you have that spread plate... The other way, you've got to kind of, you, you got you almost need three hands. I'm set you back here, bang. You're going to set right there. All right, so we flip this bitch around like this. You set it on here. Now you're balancing yourself up top there. You're going to lock this in here like this. Then as you're balancing, you need to push up on here to get this to lock over. Then you're, you're going to be pushing with all your might. Ah! Bang. Really doesn't matter. This way, that way, or the other way. Doesn't really matter. But it's going to do the same job this way or the other way. The only problem with putting it on this way is to set it on when you're up there. When you're on a ladder or if you're on, you know, the top of the tank leaning over. So it really doesn't matter what way you uh, put your spread plate on. But, um, you know, so you, you go to unlock it and you're, you're cammed over there. Pretty good. And then you're you're kind of unlocked there and you might you might actually um, have the damn thing fall off on you. Or you might fall yourself if you uh, let that go. So bang. That's how easy it is. And you just grab this guy, bang, you're in place. So that I'm not, not entirely straight. So, you can turn it where you want. Take a look into the good old poop hole. Make sure she's straight. Put her in place. Put her in place. Bang, you're in, in, in the position here. So, that's how we do that. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. It's still not straight, but that doesn't matter. Well, all right, so you... So, you can take your spread plate, just set it up on the bell here like this. It's latched on with the top. You can step back here like this, you know, you can just take and you can just look at it, you know. It's kind of setting on there. Now, nothing's latched, you can make sure it's straight, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, worry about locking it on. Then you, uh, you know, look at it again, make sure everything is straightening in place. Get your uh, lock up on here. Bang! Lock that on. Now, we usually put a uh, cotter pin in through here so that if something happens and this um, handle releases itself, you know, it, it can't release itself. So, all right, that's a basic explanation. And we got the crawler in here. Bing, bing, bang, boom. We're uh, uh, getting that in the video here too but uh 
We got the drums pulled off of here. Um, we got some brakes that need a need attention on this uh, steerable lift here. We did the uh, the brakes on the, the rear axle of this pig here uh, last winter, so that that's all good to go. And um, yeah, they got an air hose out here. They were hooked up to the glad hands here earlier so that they could uh, release the brakes to get these um, brakes to release themselves. They actually pulled the drums off the back. They checked them out. They got them all inspected. We got a little issue here with this side. Um, this brake shoe is, is completely come apart. Uh, so that needs to be addressed. We'll replace it. Um, don't know as if we need a drum. Come on. Yeah, the drum is in pretty good shape. It's just, it's just the, uh, the freaking shoe. Uh, the shoe got some garbage in there and she pulled the uh, crap away from itself there. So, um, look at this, sh this drum over here. They freaking drums are only a hundred bucks. Freaking replace them anyway, but there ain't, there ain't a big huge groove on that anyway. So, we'll just uh, throw a set of shoes on this steerable lift and uh, slam them freaking used drums right back on there. We'll call it good. Alright folks, that's uh, going to take care of the 2016 Diller uh, 8,000 gallon unit here. Uh, we got a little spill action going on right here. We've been um, agitating here pretty good. And um, we've got her down there. There's a minuscule amount of, um, of sand built up in this uh, tanker here. So we really won't use this tanker again until um, well, once we get corn off. And then we'll really hammer the ground, get the manure out. So we're just kind of going through things. And, and uh, working on things slowly here. Um, yeah, so we've got 10 tires to get taken care of here. The, the, the left axle, um, the aluminum rims have come off the left axle. We had uh, the eight metal rims come off of the uh, two rear axles there. And uh, we need to get, get them tires out and get them capped and get them back here. All right, folks, uh, that's going to take care of this uh, little video. So we'll uh, catch it the next one. Remember uh, to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to go ahead and uh, close out this video. We'll, we'll get you the next one.